evening everybody it is lazy eyed beauty and I am coming to you with another video this particular one is all about the cancer man so if you are seeing a cancer man or you are currently involved with a cancer man or you're thinking about getting involved with a cancer man this video is for you so I'm going to start off with the positive things about this sign and then I'm going to go into some of the negative traits about this sign. Starting off, if you're looking for somebody who's a family man, if you're looking for somebody who's going to sell down, if you're looking for somebody that's going to be a, a, a great father and actually spend time with your kids and actually teach them things and be faithful to you and give you that white picket fence type of life, this is the guy for you. He will do all of that because he is very big on family. To him, family comes first, home comes first. So he will never put anything before his household. You don't have to worry about this. He won't put his friends before his wife and his kids. He won't put his extended family before his wife and his kids. He won't put anyone before his life and his kids. In fact, the only thing that he'll probably put a little bit of effort into outside that will be work because he wants to be able to make money so he can provide for his wife and kids. Because cancer is all about home and building home and uh, just the, the, inner, the inner circle. It's almost kind of cultish in a way, how he is with his family. Now, since this, this sign is ruled by the moon, so this man, he, he probably will have a good relationship with his mother. He'll usually be close to his mother or have a connection with her because, um, you know, the, that the sign is also about, about the mother and the relationship to the mother. So either he'll have a really, really good relationship with his mother or he'll have a very, very bad relationship where she was not really a part of his life where he doesn't know her at all. Maybe she was on drugs or something like that. So it's either one of the two. It's not really in between. Now, the thing that you have to realize about Cancer Man is that he, this is a feminine sign. So since you have a lot of feminine energy here, these tend to be very beautiful men. Very beautiful men beautiful faces they're the pretty boys they're just beautiful in the face you know how you see some men you're like you know he's attractive he's sexy he's, he's gorgeous but you very rarely see men who are just beautiful just beautiful cancer men are very very beautiful they don't even have to go to the gym because their mom just blessed them with a beautiful face but a lot of them do go and work out. You'll you'll see a lot of cancer men that are really into physical fitness and they'll be trainers and stuff like that. They're about their business because they want to keep that body right because it goes with that poster child face that they have. You know what I'm saying? So they are very, 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 very easy on the eyes. And this will probably be what attracts you to him at first. You probably noticed him at work or noticed him at church or probably saw him on the street and just thought to yourself, wow, that is a beautiful man right there. That is a beautiful man. He's the type of man that you're, you'll be standing in line somewhere and you will definitely notice him out of everybody. You'll notice, notice him way past the Libra man and the, and, and the, and the Scorpio man. In the sad series, but you'll notice him before you see any of them. And women usually are crazy about Scorpios, but you'll notice him because he's just a beautiful man. And on top of that, they tend to be romantic. They'll do little things like buy you gifts because cancers like gifts and they give gifts. So they want gifts and they give gifts. So you'll notice that he'll just go and do little things like buy you a little trinket or something like that just to show that he loves that he loves you. He's like, I went and I bought you a purse. Or I went and I bought you this this makeup kit that I saw that you really liked. Or I bought you these earrings. He'll just buy you stuff 
and it'll always be stuff that you were saying that you wanted or you seem like you were interested in. He's a, the type of guy that on Valentine's Day, you're going to get it all. You're really going to get it all. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. I don't know why. I think it's because I washed my face up with this harsher soap today. But anyways, so back to the video. He is going to spoil you with gifts. They're great gift givers. But he also likes to receive them. So just keep that in mind. You got to return the favor, okay? Now... We've talked about some of the good things about this man. What can I say about some bad things that he does? The only thing I will say that I have an issue with when it comes to the cancer man is his mood swings. Okay? If there was a dance move that I could create to kind of show you what I mean about the cancer man, is it, it would be just the rocking of the head. Because one moment he's happy, then the next minute he's sad. Then the next minute he's nervous. Then the next minute he's excited. Then the next member, in the moment he's angry and pissed off. And then the next moment he's just peaceful. And still waters. He's, his, his mood swings are out of control sometimes. It's like, dang. And for somebody to have such mood swings, he also holds on to things that happen mistakes that you've made he holds on to them it's kind of hard for him to forgive he's like Scorpio in this way very very hard to forgive you it's not easy for them to do that now he's not going to cheat on you he's not going to cheat on you but if you cheat on him he will leave you it don't matter how much he loves you he's not going to stay in a toxic situation they can be in long distance relationships and be faithful. But if they find out that you're cheating on them, it's over. Cancers, they might check up on their exes. Like they'll stay in contact with their exes. But normally it's only just to see if the ex is still doing as miserable as they were when they were together. Or just to make sure they're okay. But they're not, it's not, if you're, if you have an ex, a cancer that's an ex, or you notice that you're, a boyfriend that's a cancer is communicating with his ex he doesn't want her he's just trying to see if she's just as miserable as she was when they was together that's all that was he don't want her nine times out of ten he just wants to rub it in her face that he's with you all in all i will have to say that this is not a bad sign it's really not um but you just have to understand that the mood swings the mood swings. Now, if you can get past the mood swings, you will have the, the best partner in the whole wide world. You'll have a wonderful husband that loves and provides for you and your kids. You'll have a man that is completely faithful that you really don't have to worry about asking to come home. He'll come home on his own because they really are not, they're not like the social butterflies. They're not like Libra and Gemini and Aquarius Air signs like to go out and socialize a lot. They're not like Leos that know everybody. They're not even like Sagittarius that likes to go out. They are really to themselves. So they are not the type of person where if you invite him to go out with friends for drinks, he's probably not going to really want to go. If you're inviting him to go over to your family's house for Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner, uh, he's probably not going to want to go. If he does, it's just because you asked him to, but he would prefer to go to his. Or to stay home all together. That's cool with him, too. He doesn't have to be out. He can stay at home. Why not have Thanksgiving dinner at home? Why do we have to go out with people? And that might bother you if you're a fire sign. Like if, you're, if you're a Leo or you're a Libra or um, a Gemini or an Aquarius, I, w or I just wouldn't suggest that you get with a cancer man because you're going to think he's boring and you're going to feel like he's trying to keep you caged so yeah um, I hope that you all did enjoy this video if you did please comment like and subscribe because when you like this this video you help to bring other people to the channel I hope that you all have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for watching love you